You guys won't know this, but this is actually take two. Almost burst into tears. It's not a big deal, it's just really frustrating. I filmed a, I think it was a great grocery haul. I went through in details about everything. I talked about budget planners and a big sale I'm having on soon for my boards. And just before I finished filming, my SD card was full. So I went through and deleted some photos, uh, some videos, set, put all my groceries away, sat down to edit, and all I had was a 30 second video, which is the, the ed, my outro, the outro of the video I filmed. And it looks like I accident, accidentally deleted my whole entire grocery haul, which I had then gone and put all the way and I have just spent the past three hours <laughs> trying to recover it but I have to pay like $150 for a program and potentially it still can't recover the video and I can't justify spending that for potentially recovering a video so I'm refilming it <laughs> um, I'm hoping I'm gonna cover off on everything that I talked about I think I have taken everything out of my fridge and pantry. Um, there's a couple of things like I've opened up a milk to have a coffee and my son has consumed an entire packet of Pringles and I shared them with him. So let's just start again and talk through the grocery haul. I really hope lots of people watch this video because it's literally now taking me hours to film and edit and fluff around trying to fix. But anyway. Grocery haul. I have not done my fruit and veg. I am going to do that tomorrow. I do need to get some more eggs because I've done a lot of baking the past couple of weeks and I'm low on eggs and my son at the moment is loving. The farm eggs we buy, they're almost 50-50 yolk and like white, what do you call it? Yolk and the egg whites um the, the egg yolk is even probably more than 50 percent of the egg they are huge and he loves the egg yolks so when we do like um bird eggs with so toast um he's eaten three of them so we're going through a lot of eggs so i'm gonna do like a vlog over the weekend and we're gonna do our fruit and veg shop and go to the farm and get some more eggs so today is just my coal shop now they did have a discount code this week spend 250 and get 20 dollars off i didn't plan on spending that much but as i was going through there was a couple of things i really did need and everything was just like turning over in the sales mode i'm like i want that it's on sale i want that it's on sale i could stock up on that it's on sale so i went nuts and i ended up using the discount code but then a bunch of stuff wasn't available so there was some washing powders not available some dips not available and i got substituted a few things i've just remembered i've forgotten a couple of things um there was a couple of things i got substituted but i don't pay more for those so i have roughly worked out my grocery bill and it appears I have spent about $205 for the groceries here. Sorry if that was noisy. I haven't done fruit and veg yet, but fruit and veg for the past five, six weeks I've been going to the fruit and veg man have been about $38, $42. That's where I'm sort of sitting. I feel like my budget of the 180 that we spend for a family of four plus a dog and a cat isn't right and I'm usually pretty good with my budget. I do like a review every six to 12 months, uh, jig things around, call companies to get better prices but things are just going up everywhere. I got an email yesterday from our MBN provider for internet and it's going up $5 per month. Petrol, we do diesel, seems to be going back up in price again and fruit and veg uh, groceries are still going up and then I'm noticing like package sizes on things are halving and I'll talk about it in the grocery haul but like these shapes are 175 grams I swear they used to be like 300 grams for the box of them so I think I'm gonna do a video where I go through and look at my budget rejig my budget and really nut out what we are spending and i think i might do a video on it i use my budget planner and this is what i was talking about in the first video um 
I used to have a website and I was having so many issues with it and my renewal fee came up and it was like $600 and I just thought that's a lot of money to renew it so I'm just going to go back to my Etsy store. Currently on my Etsy store all I have are my boards um, so I'm going to be uploading over the next couple of days my budget planner. It's $2.99. I think I'm up to version 3 or 4. It used to be free but I have put so so much time and effort into it a lot of detail has gone into it that you guys were actually saying and my friends i should charge for it and i was like oh I people should be saving money not spending money and then a lot of research on um, websites and etsy's and places you can buy budget planners and they're around the 14 dollar mark 10 14 dollar mark and i'm just like oh I can't, I can't charge someone that much money for a budget planner because they're trying to budget. So I thought $2.99 was an okay price point. Um, and you guys have been buying it like crazy. So I'm pretty happy with the price point. So over the next couple of days, one, I'm going to be transferring everything from my website that no longer exists to my Etsy store. And I will leave the Etsy store in the, the description part below so you can go in and have a look. But two... I'm going to be a tangent before we get into the grocery haul. Um, we're renovating downstairs and I've actually run out of room. I've done an order for some more boards and they've arrived and they're just sitting downstairs in the way. <laughs> um, and I need to move them and it getting to the point where I don't have anywhere to put them and I kind of need them gone. So I've just decided to do a I don't have room sale. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be putting a massive sale. Like I'm talking, I, I need to get these boards moved. And I know people on a budget and can't afford spending quite a bit of money sometimes. But um, the, you can buy a sticker pack. These are my larger boards. These are the kids' organizational ones. I think I've shared them before. The kids go through and tick off all the things they get done. It gets a little bit messy. That's fine. And this is my large board. I have a smaller version as well. This is a three and I have an A4 one. So if you like how I lay it, these are all removable and reusable stickers. So you can take them off, stick them. You can put them behind glass panels. You can put them onto the board. Um, where we are now, we were renting. Well, we did own. Then we rented and now we owned again. But this wall here is actually a spare stop. So I can't drill into it. They come with these here. I also will be selling my hooks um i've got the 3ms sitting on there so if you are a renter you can still put them up so i'm going to be having a massive sale not on the budget plan the budget plan is just going to be two dollars 99 but i'm going to be doing a massive sale to move some of these boards because i was going to have to bring them upstairs and put them somewhere i just i don't want to deal with it so I'm going to sell them. Sell them really cheap. So stay tuned over the weekend as the page updates. I do free shipping worldwide. I have a lot of people that follow me from Norway, America, and Australia. So if you want to grab one of them, I just want to clear them out. Will I restock them? Possibly. Will I probably do like a really silly sale like this again? Probably not. I'm at the point where it's annoying me. They're in the way. I want to do stuff downstairs. I'm just like... That's it. Move them out, sell them, and get them out of my way. Sale. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at groceries for the second time for me, but the first for you guys. I will start in this corner here. I'm hoping I have taken everything out the fridge. I did have my coffee. I've gotten four lots of three litre milks this week because it is a people free day for the kids. Well, for my son, my daughter's at daycare, so I wanted to get extra milk and it's Father's Day, so probably extra coffees on the Sunday. So I've got my usual Norco milk, still supporting them. I It just becomes our norm now, and I love that it's helping every flood recovery, in flood recovery, every cent counts. And Norco in northern New South Wales got absolutely devastated, so me purchasing from them really, really helped. So I'll continue to do that. I have bought some chicken wings. My plan with chicken wings, because they are such a cheap piece of meat to purchase, I am going to use one kilo of them and make a chicken soup. So for fruit and veg man, I need to buy a celery because I have carrot and I have onion and that is all I use to make my chicken soup. I do have a video on it. I think my soups video, I do a pumpkin soup and a chicken soup. So I'm going to make a chicken soup. Couple of cool nights still happening. Kinda still soup weather single portion it 
into the freezer, easy meal, easy snack, and my kids love it with some noodles put into it. And then the other half, I wanna make some little niblets. So with the chicken wings, I cut them at their point. So there's usually like three pieces to a chicken wing. So I'll cut there or knife through and then knife through there. And then I'm gonna do a honey, chicken, a honey soy chicken ginger sesame seed marinade. Marinade them all up and chuck them into the freezer. So I've got a chicken soup in the freezer and chicken bits in the freezer. Take the chicken bits out and have them as an afternoon snack on the weekend, part of a lunch, maybe put them into a dinner with some, maybe like a bit of a barbecue with like some warm salad, potato salad, a steak on the side. So that's my plan for that one there. Roast pork. What I plan to do with this is one of two things. This is a very large piece of pork. I didn't expect it to be that big. My original plan was to do a pulled pork. So I'm either going to cut this in half and we can do a roast one night. What my mum used to do is um, cook the pork and all lamb. I think we should do this as well. And then she would cook it, but then slice it all up and then soak it in gravy and be like a gravy pork. You could have like gravy pork sandwiches or gravy pork with some mashed potato or roast potatoes, roast carrot, broccoli. Um, so I might do that or I might just do a full pulled pork. I'm going to do a sticky sweet barbecue pulled pork. I have done it before. I will film it again. Let's hope my car doesn't chuck a hissy fit this time again and I will share with you my pulled pork recipe because what I plan to do and I've just realized I did leave that one in the freezer is I bought a bag of coleslaw this is not the salad mix I normally purchase this is literally a bag of pre-cut coleslaw for three dollars I thought it was more cost-effective uh, food waste reduction option for me, although I hate the packaging. So I've gotten myself a bag of coleslaw and we are going to do rice paper rolls, pulled pork rice paper rolls, veggie rice paper rolls. Some I will like fry off to go crispy and some I will leave natural and just lovely with some homemade sauces for them. I made them before, I don't know if I shared them on here or on Instagram, but I kind of got the idea because last week you guys know, that I just started making this massive list of things going down. So when I was doing my grocery shop this week, I was like, ooh, that's right, chicken soup, grab some of that. Chicken thigh curry, which I'll explain to you. Chicken wings I purchased, rice paper rolls, and then I was like, sushi. So sushi was on sale this week. So I grabbed myself the pickled ginger. I should have grabbed two packs of this. Didn't, but okay, we love pickled ginger. That was on sale. And then my nori, my sushi sheets were on sale as well. So I've got loads of crumb chicken in the freezer. All I need to do from the fruit and veg man is buy some avocado, some cucumber, and some lettuce. And the kids love avocado ones. I love the chicken ones. My husband loves the chicken and tuna, and I've got tuna in the cupboard. So we might do like a, a late lunch, early dinner on a Saturday, and we can do sushi. So thank you, my previous self, for making a massive list because this wouldn't have crossed my mind to come up and do some sushi. The other thing I had written up there on the board, because it was the spend 250, I'm like, well, let's grab a couple of extra things and we can freeze, freeze, freeze. And I'm going to do my pumpkin coconut cream curry chicken thighs. So I get the chicken thighs, I get an onion, capsicum, cut a pumpkin, and then I put a little bit of curry powder and some coconut cream into a baking dish. The whole lot just goes into a baking dish and then I roast it in the oven until the chicken is cooked through and literally the bones fall off of the chicken. And I have a beautiful pumpkin coconut curry that is lovely. Then what I usually do is I'll portion it up. So I'll go one meal, two meal, three meals, cause there's six thighs in here and I'll freeze it. It freezes really well. Or sometimes we'll have it for dinner that night with like a side of rice and some veggies. So I'm gonna cook that one up there to potentially, well I will freeze some and some we might have for dinner this week. I have also purchased some ham and salami because we're going to be doing homemade pizzas. Maybe tonight because it's movie night. I'll see the energy level in the room with the kids. We might do some homemade pizzas. So I grabbed a tin of pineapple. I have grabbed some pizza sauce because I think I had some left, but I'm, oh, I'm literally out of it. So we're gonna do some pizzas. 
Now this is my favorite, let's get my other hand free, hang on a sec guys. This is my favorite pita bread to use for pizzas. Screenshot it, pause the screen, write it down, memorize it. This pita bread crisps up so nicely. Don't overload the pizzas like full of toppings, but we do love ham, pineapple, mushrooms, garlic, you know, the whole the whole thing. So I've got my sauce, my pineapple. I need to buy some capsicums for my dish here as well. I've got onions. I need to buy capsicums, mushrooms. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I might need to grab for my pizzas, but I need to make a list of it. Um, actually, we won't do pizzas tonight because I'm not going to go to the grocery man until tomorrow morning. So rethink that one. Anyway, um, so we're going to do pizzas. And then the last piece of protein I picked up was some chicken breasts. Now, usually my deli section is more expensive than like buying it packaged like this here. But today, chicken breast fillets were like 50 cents a kilo cheaper. So I grabbed that purely for the fact that I'm wanting to fill my freezer are up a bit more because I'll show you in a sec I just don't have stuff ready to go but I've got things like green curry paste sitting here I've also got a korma paste sitting here so I need to make some dishes up that I can breeze because at the moment I seem to be doing like I've got all this meat red meat from the butcher but nothing is planned although I just cooked the corn silver side up but I don't have things I can just take out defrost add some stuff and eat what we have been doing is fish meat pies uh sausages and it seems to be a reoccurring thing and then I kind of get bored of cooking it and then I get annoyed that we're eating the same food so the list last week really helped me and I want to do a big batch of cooking over the weekend which I'm hoping to film and share with you and then my freezer is better stocked so I'm like let's do pulled pork for dinner and we can put that with some sweet potato or veggies or let's do the rice paper rolls with the, the pulled pork or we've got chicken wings sitting there or I've made some curry at the moment my options are so limited I'm literally cooking a full meal every night because nothing is prepped so if you're the busy family or you just don't love cooking food sometimes when you just have like a couple of days and just cook 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 in the coming weeks you really thank yourself because I'm going to have meal 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 meals you know I'm gonna be well stocked with some dinner options that's my plan. Um, this is the rice I have been given. It's not the usual rice I get for sushi rice. Uh, I get a different brand. So I'm sure this one will be fine. It's the same brand as actually the rice paper rolls. So that's how I came up with those kind of meal ideas there. I did grab some cheeses, which are not cheap, but I wanted to do it with a platter this weekend. So I got my Favorite. These are my favorite pickled onions, the old style by Three Threes. Uh, so I'm going to do some pickled onions, a cheese board. I've got my favorite crackers, which were not on sale, but these are really nice. The almond fig ones, they're just mm, very, very nice. So I'm going to grab some pears and some grapes to probably do like a nice cheese board, maybe a glass of wine, and we can just relax one afternoon. Because it's been very hectic the past few weeks with sicknesses and renovations and just life in general. So cheese boards on the menu for the week. Most of the other stuff I have purchased is things that were on sale and bulking up on things. So hence why in the few next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to bring the bill back down. But I do need to work out, did I say that on here? I'm sort of thinking, have I doubled up on things because I said it in the last video, not here. I have a feeling my grocery budget of about 170 180 is incorrect i just have this feeling with the way prices are going i think i'm spending more so i want to sit down and do the video which i told you guys about but i want to sit down and really work out what i'm spending i'm finding that with petrol you can kind of work it out um, with other bills, they seem to be like monthly or further out, but groceries for us are every single week. And I just have this feeling that it's a lot more than the 180 a week. I'm actually thinking it's like 200 a week. I just have this weird 
we seem to be spending more. I know prices have gone up on everything dramatically. So I, I really want to really understand it. So if you're in the same boat as me, stay tuned for the video. I might do it next week when there are no children home and I can just sit down and I know a lot of you say you like my thought process on things. I'm that's literally gonna, I'm gonna sit down and go, right, what have I spent? How have I done it? It might be a really boring long video, but maybe you could do it with me if you have my budget planner or you have a budget planner and you want to go through and do a review because I just think with life at the moment with all these things, bills and the cost of living, I think reviews should be done more regularly. Well, at least I want to do some reviews more regularly because I'm scared to think, are we going over budget? Are we spending in places that we need to try and cut back on, which is kind of hard to do for food, but maybe I can do it in other places. Now, laundry powder. This was half price and it was $9.75. I bought two of them and then I bought the Coles home brand one. I love the washing powder we used to use, which was the Coles home brand one. It was like four kilos for $6, about there. This is two kilos for $9.75, it was half price. So usually $18 for two liters of washing powder. I'm doing it because my husband's broken out in a massive rash. We think it's from the renovations downstairs and just so much dust and gunk from sitting in the walls for the years has given him a rash, but I wanted to buy some stuff just to test. So because this was half price, I'm like, well, if I need to use it, I grabbed two of them. So I almost have $30 sitting just there. And I guess this is my sort of tip when it comes to grocery shopping, find your most expensive items. For us, back in the day, it was actually washing powder. Washing powder is very expensive and I wanted to bring the price down. So I looked at every washing powder option there was and there were some really cheap ones out there, tested them and they actually worked really well apart from what we're going through now. So uh, washing powders, if you're thinking my grocery bill is going through the roof, look at the washing powder you were using. Look at the, the maybe the soaps you were using or something like your, your dish soap or something. Look at what you're using there and is there a really cheaper version just to help bring your bills down. Now, I spent the $2.50, I get the discount. I always buy toilet paper when they have those discounts. It's just something I seem to do. I buy the toilet paper and it seems to work really well because we never ran out of toilet paper and I've always got like the right kind of balance of toilet paper for our home. So I have my toilet paper and my really expensive collection of washing powder sitting up the top. I kind of hope we don't need to purchase these because doing that, again, I'm going to go from four kilograms of washing powder for like six dollars to two kilos when I have to get it at half price now for nine dollars seventy five. Let's see how that goes. Um, I got a hummus dip. I did have a basil and pesto one, but they were out of stock. So that's my only option to have with my dips this weekend, which is fine. We can work with that. Um, but that's why my, I don't know my exact balance of my grocery bill because things have been um, non-available for me. Now, a couple of pantry things, apart from the stock standard cat food, and I've purchased these cat biscuits this week. His normal cat biscuits were out of stock, and he tends to really like the Whiskers brand. It's like a real cheap cat biscuit brand, uh, cat food brand. He really likes it, but I thought I'd grab these ones here just to see. Similar price to the other one. He gets a lot of furball, so let's hope these do the job as well. Now, in the freezer, I do have, I think it's four liters of ice cream in there because what we are planning to do for movie night tonight, every Friday we do movie night, uh, my husband got my kids addicted to McFlurries at McDonald's, the M&M McFlurries, $4 each, that's eight bucks every time we go through. So tonight I was like, why don't we do homemade McFlurries? So these were half price, I think they were like a dollar each, so I've grabbed them. Will I use them? I don't know. Will they be like a treat or reward my kids are well, well, well behaved? Highly likely. Uh, but I've got these ones here. So we're gonna do our own homemade McFlurry mix this week. Okay, I'm back. I think my SD card got full again and I just checked. And the video is still there, which is good. Now I'm trying to think of what I was saying. Uh, so we're going to do some homemade, what do you call them again? 
uh, McFlurry ice creams for the kids tonight for dinner. So that's their treat there. Uh, what else have I missed? I've gotten my bread as per usual. I still need to buy a third loaf, which I always pick up on a Monday. Uh, the crackers here. Now, I swear these used to be 300 grams and they're now 175. These were half price. And given how thin and small the packaging is, I don't think I'll ever pay full price for these. I think they're a little bit of a rip off. I didn't expect the boxes to be so small. Um, the prices seem to either say the same and the packaging's getting smaller or the packaging is staying the same and the prices are really going up, which is really disappointing. Anyway, I've grabbed some of Coles home brand corn chips. My kids really like them. These are really cheap. I think they're $1.90. And then I grabbed a party size of Dorito ones. These were half price, but these were still more expensive than the Coles ones. Just so I would try them. I'm actually thinking about doing a, like a nacho dish for the kids uh, one night this week. So some corn chips, some corn, um, maybe some mints or beans. And we'll do tomatoes. We'll do salsa, sour cream. I don't have sour cream, but I do have Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt and an avocado. And it's like a nice big bowl and the kids can dip in, have melted cheese on top and enjoy it. So... That's my plan for that one there. The other stuff I've gotten down the end here, I had to get some vanilla extract. I've been doing a lot of baking and I was after vanilla bean, vanilla paste or vanilla extract. And this stuff is not cheap. This was $11 for 150 milliliters vanilla things are not cheap. Vanilla flavored infused items are not cheap. And there's, there's a massive process to be able to make vanilla extract. Um, but I did need it because I had nothing and I needed to flavor a couple of things and I want to have it available because I do like to cook with it. So I grabbed one of those there. So that alone was $11. That alone is almost $30. And then we have our milk. Let's not talk about the milk because we drink it like we should probably own our own dairy cow. Um, I had purchased more pasta in the grocery haul, but it was out of stock. I wanted to have more pasta available as a quick, easy dinner option because I don't have any pasta. So this was actually purchased on sale to use for... Um, spaghetti bolognese but I wanted to have other pasta like spiral pasta or shell pasta and everything I wanted was completely out of stock so I wasn't able to get my hands on those you know about the sushi you know about the rice paper rolls and you know about the bread I think the only other thing I had probably missed is the Pringles I had a third one but my son and I shared it because he's on holiday today and it's a bit of a treat now I think I have covered everything. I may have missed stuff sitting in my pantry or my fridge. I'm not too sure, but we'll just roll with that for now. Um, but that is the grocery haul. I, I'm disappointed the video I didn't upload before because I had like a really good tangent and like a really good sort of rant on some stuff. But anyway, um, that's today's grocery haul. I'm actually really impressed with what I got. Given I got a lot of meat, a lot of cheese and a lot of milk. I'm pretty happy with my spendings. I think I saved about $43 this week. That included the $20 off coupon, the $20 off um, discount code. I am keen to know if you have the budget planner or a budget planner, would you tune into the video and do like a bit of a review with me? Um, if you don't have a budget planner, stay tuned over the weekend. Things will come across and I'm going to do like a really crazy sale of these boards because they're, they're just bugging me. I just don't want them there. I don't have a space for them and they need to go. And I've had questions and that's why I'm bringing it up about the budget planner. And I was like, it's on my list of things to do and I really need to move it because obviously people are feeling the pinch and they want to get a bit more organized with things. And I don't have that available for you. But that's today's grocery haul. Let's hope round two I can edit and get up. And if not, you'll never ever see this grocery haul because I'm not filming it again. Um, but I'm going to put the groceries away for the second time. Did I show I had ice cream? I did. I shared we had ice cream. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for probably my less energetic self because filming the same thing twice, you do lose a bit of motivation doing it. But I appreciate that. I'm hoping maybe there were some things in here that you saw and you're like, oh, I'll try that. Or what a great idea about the washing powder. That's really expensive for us. I'll change some stuff there. Or some of the dinner ideas I have shared with you. I'm going to film cookings of the meals and probably do voiceovers because I know you guys have been asking for it. But for now, that is my update. I am going to have coffee number of the day, which is rare for me. Put this stuff away for that time uh, download the video for that 
time and get it up to you guys as soon as possible because by now you guys are already watching it and it's not there yet. But I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk soon. Bye. I don't want